So now I need spend 4 years of us running GJ now. What started as an idea in September 2019, I believe, uh eventually led to a very interesting masterclass model and then now of course we run impact mba scholar program impact fellowship and mpp scholar program so if i were to ask you this question as a co-founder what was your thought process when we were dreaming and thinking about ggi wow for I, i think i've always been cognizant of the fact that uh, both of us were incredibly lucky in many ways in our journey we had a wonderful support system it could be via our friend circle or our family we had incredible opportunity to study at some of the greatest institutions in the world since stevens for you fletcher school of law and diplomacy duck school of business harvard so on and so forth but the fact of the matter is that millions of very talented people will never have access to such ecosystem such community such support system it's because of our access to those ecosystems and communities we were able to then have yield compounded returns on our skills so the goal of global governance initiative when we started was extremely simple that uh, it does not matter what's your family background it does not matter what's your financial status and if you are willing to work hard if you have that desire if you have the desire to create large scale impact gji and it's all the offshoots will be there to assist you help you and guide you not just for 6 months or one year but for the rest of the lives and we are so fortunate that many of our fellows and scholars have been able to create large scale impact not just with mckinsey or bcg but there are many who are launching their own startups there are many who are changing the dynamics of social impact space and i'm and we are incredibly proud of the work that they have been doing and if i were to ask you shatakshi this question uh, what were the hiccups that that uh, that we faced in the journey what would you think of those three four hiccups and how did it change you and transform you as a person and as a founder sure there were many as we both know and if i were to quote uh, two of them more than happy to and they go back to 2019 and 2020 and in the hindsight before i even talk about the initial hiccups i think that we have covered this interesting journey of four years and many more to come largely because i think we took small things very seriously small small hiccups we just didn't take them took them casually we went out of our way to create a very perfect solution and a perfect answer and if i were to quote two examples so back in 2019 when we were completely an offline in person model this is the world before pandemic uh, you remember the third master class at this was third or fifth master class at st stevens college and because it's my alma mater i was very excited to have a gj policy consulting master class there and we both know how suddenly because of administrative reasons uh 3 days before the master class we were informed that the master class could not take place on the land of st stevens college because of certain administrative goof up that had happened and to our mind we were told by the students there that we have all the approval and we both know how we leveraged our relationships and network with few of the government officers who also came from st stevens college who were really nice and kind to help us back then because of which we could get permission because imagine if you are a student who has also paid and who is excited to come now to st stevens college to learn policy consulting you get a email that it's not happening in st stevens college you would be little disappointed i also remember our chat we were thinking about a lot of plan b options where all could we do it <laughs> if not at st stevens college so yes that's one of the initial hiccup it may sound very small and trivial right now but back then it was a big deal and i'm just so proud that we took small small things really big that has helped us to be where we are and we should celebrate what we have created and of course not to sit on the laurels because there is a lot of good work that we need to do and the second one is of course in 2020 we both were trying to figure out if we can create an impact in the startup world 
by creating a startup masterclass and fms again in delhi this is the in person module on thursday i think our honorable prime minister announced that there is a complete lockdown in the country and we were about to have a startup masterclass in fms which is a management school and we were just so surprised and shocked and i think we both have been just so agile in handling a lot of uncertainties thrown us thrown at us in the last moment and this is what we decided to do because no one knew when the world is going to open up we offered complete refund to these 19 students back then and now our master classes are running 100 plus that hey feel free to take all your money we would definitely do this master class but we don't know when but we understand this is your hard earned money and we both know only one person asked for a refund no one else asked for a refund because i think we both had our genesis right since day one which is that profits is not important it is the impact which is important and we both know we have had many many such hiccups initially in our early days and it is just so good to reminisce now that we have covered 4 years of ggi but uh, just so proud that we took them all very seriously diligently solved each and every minor issue coming up from each and every person so yeah that's my answer to the second question which brings me towards a very interesting question aman for you which is the entire thought behind creating a global community and international community there is a very active focus in ggi to create a very diverse community and that too from international point of view so what was going on in your mind when you thought about creating an international community at ggi i think uh, i've always thought and i always wanted to make sure that community has to be at the heart of global governance initiative and this community has to be as diverse as possible not just in terms of its geographical representation but also in in terms of their thoughts their views their opinions all of these have to be very diverse and therefore we have tried our best to create a community of folks who are not just from mckinsey or not just from the behemoths of social impact space but there are chartered accountants there are doctors there are engineers and it's when you create such diverse ecosystems such diverse e- communities you see the magic of real learning you see the magic of real growth i was talking to one of the gdi scholars a few days ago and she is launching her own startup and when she is launching her own startup she is directly connecting and talking to folks who are in vc from gdi who who are helping her set up their her first company who are cas so this ecosystem which is uh, diverse i was very clear that learnings will happen only when you are learning in a community that is diverse it won't be possible in a homogeneous ecosystem homogeneous societies and ever since we began we were very clear that we'll benchmark harvard we'll benchmark stanford and um, in that process of benchmarking these global institutions we have inadvertently created uh, a wonderful institution here in south asia and we are so glad that we were able to do this now i have a question for you so i'm sure you know creating global governance initiative and i'm i'm been a part of it so i'm i'm very sure that uh, it wasn't easy there were many people who have directly and indirectly helped us in achieving whatever little we have achieved uh um, could you could you tell us more about could you tell the audience more about those wonderful people and how were you able to achieve what we achieved via gti sure before i answer that question i completely agree with your viewpoint naman on diversity and we have had our own set of discussions around civilizations how extraordinary civilizations have have generated because of diversity of opinions and openness to new ideas Uh, of course now answering your question nothing would have been possible without the help that we got uh, at multiple stages in our journey and a lot of relationships and the networks that we forged during our cumulative more than decade of experience in both public sector and private sector few things few names that of course come on top of my mind 
of course top industry leaders and we have been very cognizant that we always wanted to make gji practical not theoretical and related to the industry when it comes to setting up business education and policy education ecosystem rajat gupta who is the founder of isb where i have graduated from and of course the first non american indian to to lead mckinsey and company headquartered in new york and then peter fisher who has been a professor for you and we both know he has been the asia pacific chairman of blackrock and then arun maira who is uh, headed uh, planning forum and who has worked next to manmohan singh and who has uh, headed uh, india office of bcg they have taken our live and interactive master classes and the list is endless there are 93 plus and more in fact if i'm i think i may be wrong there are more people who have taken our interactive and live master classes from all of these mckinsey partners bcg partners amazon south asia head puneet chandok and so that section number 1 and then of course the extraordinary talented team that we have and I'll, i'll be very comfortable to for example take ashima's name she has worked in gji for more than one year and now she is about to complete two years she's part of the founding team i don't think we would have done it without her a uh, people who trusted us by giving their time in the tech domain in the operations domain in the supply domain and then of course the ocs team which is doing the extraordinary work that we are doing in terms of creating the employment partnerships for ggians across consulting pm and policy uh, there are so many names that i couldn't think of but reflecting now that we are about to touch four years i can safely say that no organization can just rest on one shoulder or two shoulders in this case it is a complete uh, win of the community and the people at large we both know it's a bootstrapped venture so no credit goes to investors here unfortunately but we always were clear that we wanted at least in the initial stage to run this bootstrap so that we go slow and we do a lot of good justice to it so yeah that's uh, that's my answer uh, in terms of a lot of good help that has been given to us and continues to be uh, our support system and uh, very excited naman that we have created this we both know that we are contributing and we are dedicating our 30s to this uh, i just i'm very sure that now that we think about ggi which was just an idea in <laughs> in our isb quad could has become so big now and uh, big in the sense of the impact we are creating and i'm very sure of the further interesting impact that we can create happy to hear any last words from you absolutely and i think the the list of names is endless i am personally and professionally indebted to all the all the names such as akshi mentioned um the names such as dean kaskar and the fletcher school of law and diplomacy with which we have established a formal collaboration uh it's it's undoubtedly uh you know it's because of many great stalwarts in the industry from mckinsey to bcg to bain to amazon who have ensured that we create a curriculum that's very practical very pragmatic and is revolutionary in many ways for the indian and south asian and the global ecosystem class of 2022 congratulations first of all for making it you're joining this community of extremely talented driven and warm people when i reflect on my journey with gji which started in early 2020 i can clearly recollect the amazing energy and passion with which the master classes were delivered and received and i think that continues to be till this day I have since then seen GJ undergo a lot of changes and I'm so grateful that I get to be a part of this community and see GJ and make all the progress that we have. Uh wishing you all the best in the future and remember that a helping hand or a thinking hat is just a thing away. All the best. Thank you. <laughs>